Hello and welcome, this is S Terror Rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and hop in. Ah, the loading screen, yes. Okay. So let's see what we have left on our quest here. Oh, I've got flying class coming up next. Um, Professor Sharp's assignment. Lost Astrolab. I also got five more of these things left to find. Uh, let's see. Let's see the Astrolab one just to have this nice little side quest. Um, locate on map. A little fast travel if we can. Yeah. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Ooh, we should check our inventory, make sure we don't need to sell some stuff. Our gear. Let's see. Okay, well we got 14 slots. I mean, surely that'll last us a couple side quests. Might I beseech you for some assistance? Beseech away. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous. Especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Okay, let's see. Hmm. A 
see the quest marker, so we'll swim over that way. It's a little scary, not gonna lie. I wonder if when you get the broomsticks, if you get in the water, you'll be able to get on it and fly out of the water. That'd be cool. This is a Slytherin telling me the tale to you. I wonder if we should be distrusting. This must be where the pink Smedley family astrolabe is. Oh, a loosened black and white pinstripe scarf. I was looking for that. A check crimson overcoat. Wonder if it's going to be the last one I check. A noblesse coat. An unidentified neck item. I'm guessing this is it. Hey, there we go. Nice. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. I like the wading in the water slowly. Got all that leech juice. Right in my sack. Caught it. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? Ooh, for a price. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Okay, nice. Oh, I got a mermaid mask appearance too. All right, let's see what we can upgrade here. Oh, nice. Check crimson or coat. Now let's see about our scarf. We got two uh, unidentified. We got one that goes plus two. I think that's our only option right now because we have to identify these others. Okay, I mean gear slots will be down to uh, 10. Okay. Nope, I think I saw one more thing I wanted to check on. Got talent points to spend. We'll go ahead and look at the collection to clear it out for now. This is the mermaid mask. The mermaid mask for one at home in the depths of the lake. Earned by returning Grace Pinch Medley's lost heirloom to her. We got three points, but I don't know. I really want to hold on to them until that higher level unlocks it. I think level 22 is where it was at. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Now, let's see. We'll go here. And what we have next? Follow the butterflies. Overheard Clementine Willardsley talking to herself in the three broomsticks. She mentioned something about a swarm of butterflies. That sounds nice to track. I wonder how much longer until I get the room of requirement. Need, here I come. Don't 
talk about it. Shall I have the courage to go into the forest? Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. But very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck! Okay. Time for another fast travel. Let's see, I think it shows on the world map, if I remember right. Here we go. Oops. Just hit one wrong button. That's all it takes. How nice to see you, my young friend. Okay, time to follow these butterflies. She wasn't making it up. Okay, where are you going, little buddies? Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Hmm. They gonna go under the bridge? Yep. Uh oh, she's slowing me down. Spider web over there. Well, oh, nice. Well, look what we have here. Hmm. Let's go see about finding some of these spiders and then we'll leave. I don't think I've done this area yet. Oops. We'll get our spell set up for a good fight. So, do this and. I think we do need us an Accio. And let's do a disillusionment so that maybe we can sneak up on the leaves. I still haven't done the Projectus Totalis, so let's give it a shot. I think there's one up high somewhere. Yep, it's a scout. Summon two enemies simultaneously. Hey, there we go. Is that an instant kill? It is. Well, that's sweet. I fault you're a deadly great spider. 
Okay, nice. Incendio. Let's see, is there anything else to find up here? Revelio. I think there would be at least a uh, um, treasure chest or something. Incendio. Oh, I forgot my incendio is upgraded and it's now in a ring. That's cool. Revelio. Okay, I think there's a path up there where that spider is. It looks like maybe it left behind something, so let's go collect it. Probably a spider fang. Yep. Interesting that there's not really anything else up over this way, though. We'll do just a little bit more exploration, then we'll go complete that quest. Maybe I just need to keep Rebellion. climbing. A lot of moonstone. Better than nothing, I suppose. There's an enemy behind me, but I can't see them. Revelio. See if we can sneak up on them. Oh, it's a dark mongrel. Oh, another Merlin's trial. Let's go check this out. And somebody has a tent here. Interesting. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. I see some green dots on things. Accio, Revelio. Accio. That doesn't respond to Accio. Incendio. Didn't think it responded to that either. This feels huh. like this might be a spell that I don't have yet. But it is Moonstone, so I wonder if waiting here until the uh, evening will do it. Ah, okay. Let's see. Hmm. I wonder if getting these over to it are part of it. I wonder if I can use Lumos, Lumos. to attract them. Maybe. Hey, there we go. This is feeling good. There we go. All right. I feel pretty proud of myself for figuring this puzzle out. make our way over there. I see another fight of some sort. It'd be fun to engage with oh it's just dark mongrels. Yeah we could take them out. Thank you. 
Callisto Dallas. There we go. Let's see. Let's see how far are we? It's 200. Maybe longer than that, but with this walking, but uh, we'll just keep going. Oh, look at all these pumpkins. Just cut right through this pumpkin patch. Break all the rules. Oh, well, I saw a mention of an Ashwinder uh, hideout. Is that what I'm at right now? Revelio. No, this has got to be Hogsmeade, right? Oh, there's one of those eyeball things. Let's get us a thing of Bob here. There we go. Does yeah, it we're... get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? All right. Here we go. I'll say it again. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. No, nope, I don't. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely. I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? <laughs> Lumos. Oh. Hello, kitty. This is very important. Okay, kitty. Bye bye. Oh. All right. Hey, there's another one. We'll go get that award here in a minute. I wanted to go ahead and stop by a shop and uh, sell some of my stuff. to be styled today? Calliope Hello. Snell. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly. Why aren't you studying to be an aura? <laughs> but I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer? What is hmm. it you might be interested in? Oh, okay. So this is basically, I guess, where we go if we want to change our styles. Period. It looks like the same customizer. Okay. You can stop by any time. Revelio. Okay, I'm thinking that there won't be anything to do um, here. Like, I might change my appearance one day, but... No, no big rush, I suppose. Relaxed garb, nice. 
Go ahead and put that on before we go sell some stuff. Hmm. I guess it was down here an outfit. Okay. Oh, it's on level 16. That's not a huge boost, only plus three, but still. Okay, what other places can we go for cells? Another door locked. It'd be really cool is if every locked door you find in this game gets saved on the map for good. That'd be awesome. I don't think I've been in here yet. Um, or maybe have been. Let's uh, see about getting this thing real quick. I need to get my spell sets going. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been here. Okay. Come on in and have a look around. I didn't realize where I was. No touching if you have sticky fingers. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. So I need to get the rumor requirement to identify these uh, clothes that I have. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Okay. Well, with all that done, um, maybe I will go ahead and do another main thing. Let's let's go ahead and do flying class so that we can move some of that stuff along and maybe we'll do Ghost of Our Love or something time permitting. Um, do our locate. And let's see. Pretty sure there's a fast travel here. Yeah, there's one right next to it. To give it a shot. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. <laughs> Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Yay! Not a fan, I take it? Now. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. Oh, it's like Harry Potter. Press try. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. Well, this will take some getting are used to. Property. I want them returned <laughs> in one piece. This is brilliant.
Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh, cool. So I've had a little practice of this uh, on the PS5, and uh, that's why I'm doing halfway decent. The controls are definitely wonky, <laughs> but uh, Hello. Nice day you know, for a flight. getting used to it. <laughs> this is rather fun. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Come on, give me the turbo mode. <laughs> this flying is pretty good. I do hope it all adjusts the controls oh, a little bit. But... Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. <laughs> I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely, is it? Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ooh. It's quick Ahead turns. Of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever a flight so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. L2. <laughs> there we go. Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it! <laughs> and the Owlery! That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Uh -oh. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Man, he really sped up there at the end. Here we go. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying.
Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. No, oh, another talent point and a level up. Sweet. All right, let's see. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Ah, oh, heck yeah. I think that is the, uh, I think that might lead to the room of requirement. So let's check that out. Yes. Um, yeah, let's do that. How far away are we? 117. Could be a lot longer, but we'll just go ahead and do it on foot. I'm really excited to build this room up. I think it there's a lot of crafting and stuff that you get to do in it. I'm guessing we'll get a new, uh, fast travel to this area too. Oh. <laughs> Guess he got in trouble. Oh, look at this thing, little place. Oh, cool. But there's a treasure in here. Oh, yep, here's a little something. 52 galleons, I'll take it. Oh, and there's more back here. Um, let's take a quick diversion for this puzzle door. All right, so we gotta get two, zero, one, two. So this one would be the, uh, whatever that symbol is. I think it's some sort of fantastic beast. All right, four plus unicorn plus something else, 12, zero, one, five, seven, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this most octopus looking beast. Okay. Easy peasy. Oh, that looks cool. I think it's a Thestral. Revelio. Unidentified neck on him. And painting. Okay. Just want to do one more look around. All right. Remember requirement. Okay. I think I've been up this way before. I remember this hallway. Ah, here it is. 
Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. Rebellion. Ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. Set it on fire. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Oh, okay, let's see. X triangle, X square triangle. Now let's see, where is this one? Oh, okay, right here. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll Sweet. note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I wonder if it turns things into Moonstone. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Hey, how are you? For you here for ages. Perhaps you're assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expect. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Rebellion. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. <laughs> Casting Evanescence on it. All right, let's see. How about we get us Accio? And I assume we can climb up that. We'll wait. Well, actually, let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to get lost in this place if we're not careful. Here we go. Revelio. Hey, there's some money. Accio. Oh. Wonder if I can get it. There we go. Oh man, that was something to lost out on that. Alright, what's over here? Some tea. Question questionable age and origin. It's a string This though. isn't as precarious as it looks. Rebellion. Oh, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. <laughs> it's 
pretty funny. A lot of neat stuff in here. Revelio. Bit of fin in the room. Thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. <laughs> and there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Can we play this harp? Revelio. Nope, just flying around. Reve what was that? Nope, I didn't see anything. Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Okay, I guess we need to get Akio the same on the way. Akio. And let's go see what's in here. Revelio. Akio. Hmm. This certainly feels like a puzzle. Maybe I'm supposed to climb. Over on the side, maybe. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps not. Hey, there's the queen from Wizard's Chess. Okay, I feel this is going too far away. Revelio. Hmm. Clockwork Fedora. Oh, maybe that's what I had to do is just pull this one out so that I could scooch the other one over. I get it now. I don't think that there's anything else left to get in this little spot. Okay, well that's cool. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Let's check out our gear. Hmm. Looks like it's the same, so we probably would want to keep that legendary. Okay. How about the outfit? We have something to switch out here. Oh yeah, because of the level up we do. Running low on gear slots. Revelio. Suddenly the walking has slowed down. Cutscene. Careful, huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <coughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. 
what I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you Revelio. do in space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You've unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any, any unidentified gear that you've collected. Yeah, let's try that out. Fringe house scarf, Neapolitan striped scarf, and a tartan sunrise scarf. Nice. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Well, let's look this up. Let's see what we got now. Ooh, anti-venom. Nice. Um, ancient magic focus one. Increase ancient magic meter fill rate. So it looks like this is the best. Okay. I mean, these aren't bad or anything, but cool. I think only the scars were what I had that were unidentified. Let's see. Oh, we're at level 16. Okay. Let's see if there's any of these that we can unlock now. That might be good to get. It. Oh, plenty of core stuff. Let's see. Basic cast impacts and on airborne enemies contribute more to the ancient magic meter. Increases the range of Avilio. Block a spell with perfect protego will send two projectiles back at enemies. Dodging an unblockable attack with dodge treats the ancient magic meter. When you stuck, struck with the stupefy, remain stunned for a longer period of time. New spell set. Wigan Weld heals you to a greater effect. Okay, I think we're definitely going to do that. And let's see about in here. might get that. What about in here? Maximum potion. Mandrake. Okay. We'll just hold off on using those other points. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else we got going on here? I guess we haven't talked to her. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh, okay, let's see. We've got XX squared triangle X. No sweat. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. 
You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okay. Let's see. Let's get our conjuring set up. And, you know, we need to go ahead and start using our spell sets too. So, what can we do here? I feel like we need to make one that's like about combat. So, there we go. That looks pretty rad. And then, how about kind of the utility stuff? And how about Reparo? Okay, is that everything? Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, I think I miscounted. One, two, three, seven. No, I did. Eight, nine. So we have one more left to go. Um, I think that would literally be the disillusionment. So we'll just put it up top. And let's see, how do we switch? There we go. We just hold in R2 and switch that way. Okay. Sweet. So let's get to the right spell set. And let's see conjuration items used to brew potions. Herbology items used to grow plants. Enchanted items to be used in the room of requirement. Wall hangings, items hung on the wall to decorate. We've got furniture, we've got rugs, decorations, room of requirement artwork, statues, seasonal decorations, tables, and seating. Uh, let's go here. Small scientific potion station with botanical potion station. Small eclectic potion station and so on. I guess we just need to do the potion station and a potting table to start. Okay, so you can just kind of put it wherever. Um, that's cool. I wonder if we'll be able to like move this around. So, let's see. What's well, an impressive room? I guess I'm gonna go up along the wall, maybe here, and we'll just kind of work our way around the wall. Okay. Um, and now we also have to do a potting table. So I think that's probably in the herbology. Potting table is a small pot. Okay. Let's see how close can we get it. Oh, gotta back up just a little bit. That looks like that might be the best well, we can do. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Cool. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. 
can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the Room of Requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Okay. Well, awesome. I guess let's uh, see what else we can conjure up. Um, I did have something special that I bought earlier, that popping pot thing. wonder if I still have that. Gothic potions. Ah, here we go. The hopping pots, okay. Um, scientific little pot that will periodically brew a new potion. Botanical. And eclectic, okay. I guess I can do three of them. Um, the amount of moonstone they take is quite a bit. Gothic pot, eclectic, botanical, scientific. I mean, I don't know. I guess we can just do the first three. Um, maybe we could put them on. I feel like there's going to be a good spot for these. Just line them up over here, I suppose. There we go. Oh, we can have only three hopping pots. Um, let's do this one. Okay. And oh, I can switch them without having to go back right here. Okay. So I assume that means that... I wonder if that budget means moonstone, moonstone, like surely I can put more in here than just those three, like, or else why would they offer four? Okay. Well, that's pretty interesting. Cute. Um, let's see if we can get something started over here on the station. station. Do a Duras. Um, we could get another wig and weld. I don't know how many I have in stock of each of these. Oh, I've got 10 Wigan Walls, so let's do Nadurus. Why not? It only takes 30 seconds to use, so by the time we get this other thing going, we can move on. I've more to teach you about transfiguration, if you have a moment. I've got to get some more stuff, looks like. Hmm. This was going to put in Dittany for now. And let's get this. Alright, nice. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Uh, of course, I just used up all my moonstone. All right, and we need 50. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, let's see, is this how we get to the junk area? No. Well, I assume that of things to vanish, there's nothing else for me to do but get rid of my own stuff, perhaps? Hmm. That seems a little unorthodox. Do you have the moonstone? You can acquire some by vanishing items. 
Yeah. Hmm. I guess it's just kind of permanently stuck like this, isn't it? There's no going back to the uh, junky version of the room. Okay. Well, not a huge deal. We'll just have to gather at the moonstone. Um, where would be the best spot for that? I mean, I know it's all over the place, but I gotta get 50 of it, though. cave why don't we go there I'm sure we could find some things along the way boy what luck about the moonstone that I uh, used it all up indeed, your field guide. <laughs> I'm most pleased to be included we'll try to get um, we have roughly 10 more minutes of playtime in anyway, so we can harvest those potions, and we will move on. Got the call to stream after that. Oh yeah. In terms of good and evil, merely indicates a limited imagination, in my opinion. Looking up, looking out for Moonstone. I'm not sure how much of it I've seen in the Forbidden Forest. Oh, speak of the devil. Okay. Levioso. Oops. Accio. Okay. Well, I gotta harvest forty more. Mercy. Maybe it'll go quickly. I'm already at 22. I came out this way a little bit, but not all the way to this marker earlier because I did that Merlin trial and then I started heading back to the side quest. So we're getting there. Revelio. Sign enemies. Do you want more? Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Hmm. Rebellion. Well, it's not actually open or anything, so I wonder if I'm supposed to come in this or what. I do see an enemy up above us. Oh, they're down below. It's a little bit of a drop. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know what his comment about something being dark was then. Revelio. This is like something I need to have a spell for or something. Not seeing a clear link there. All right. Well, we'll just keep looking for our moonstone. There's a couple more. Okay, we're at 28. Got seven off of those three. That's not bad. All right, 31. Okay, good. Come on, Moonstone. Where are you at, buddy? Revelio. I 
Oh, hey. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. <laughs> nice. Okay, where did this guy go? Nice. Alright, now I saw something nearby. Oh, it's a treasure over there. Oh, there's one underneath this dock. Or underneath this bridge, rather. Let's go check it out. Then after that, I'll go back to looking for Moonstone. Nice. Alright, time to get out of Hogsmeade so that we can find some Moonstone. Now that I have the room of requirement, I, I guess I should go ahead and start by here and see if there's anything else I want to buy. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Amphibial protection. Kind of wish I could see what I'm currently wearing. Okay, this is equal. I'll compare that later. Let me All know right. if there's anything else I Let's can see. Do to Actually, I meant to see what he has for sale. A lot of potting tables. Oh, this sounds great. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? How much is this? Two thousand. See what the most expensive thing is, so we have an idea of what we should buy. Twenty five hundred. Three thousand for that one. Two large pots. Okay. Yeah, let's get that one too. Nothing like finding just the right thing. And we need to go to I think Magic Neeps to get some of the um some of the seeds, but we'll hold off on that. Hogsmeade, here I come. I want to get enough of the moonstone. Oops, jumped off a cliff. Revelio. Hey, and I found something. Oh, what's this? Is this a Merlin trial? Yeah, it is. It's up there, though. Hmm. Wonder how I could get up there. Almost looks like I could jump over into this. It's not letting me back up. Oh, come on. You can do it, buddy. Revelio. Okay, I know I saw a Merlin trial up here. Oh, a bunch of lace wing stuff, too. Okay, let's see. Could it be a Merlin trial? Yeah, we know one of them is in a weird spot down this way. Oh. Akio. Nice. It should be nearly 50, I think. Okay, how many more do we have left? Revelio. I think of these went blue when I revelioed. Okay, I see two more. Three more, actually. Hey, did we get it? We did. 
Gotcha, Merlin. All right, I need nine more stone. Just nine more. Is this the train station? That's cool. I didn't know you could access this. Revelio. Hogsmeade Station. Oh, what was that? No, I swear I won't be wasting your time, and I'm grateful for the opportunity ever so. Come on, men. What you got? It's Why a... is it moving? What? I bet your bag is wriggling. What you got in there? Not rat sire. No, it's a niffler. <laughs> what do I want with a niffler? He's sharp. Stole from me, he did. He was robbed by a niffler. I, that's what I'm saying. He, he's a natural. Worth his weight in galleons. Go on, then. Show him to me. Uh, uh I if must... You're have... wasting my time. Ow! No, I would you never waste me, your... Lord, little rat scratch me. On, you little... you can't even keep oh, on. Come on, where rat. are you? If I he's ever catch a rat. rat, it's dead. You hear me? Dead. Uh, Get out of he's here. He's not a rat. Amateur. <laughs> Amateur. So fancy. Let's see, there's another Merlin trial over here. Might as well take a look, right? I know what that means. Merlin trial. Maybe we'll find some moonstone while we do it too. Hmm. Incendio. Just got a light of fire. Rebellion. Hmm. Oh, there's another fire to be lit. Incendio. Oh, I wonder if this is on a timer. Yep. That's that. Settled. Okay. Cool. All right, Moonstone, finally. Let's do it. Oh, two enemies up this way. I wonder if they're wizards or what. Revelio. Ah, oh, spiders, okay. Maybe we'll just leave them be. Hmm, it's this blue thing. Almost looks like a chest. Oh, I bet this is a Merlin trial thing. Accio. Maybe. Yeah, that's totally what that is. Um, I don't want to mess with it now, though, because I really want the boots down. Uh. Gotta get nine more. Uh. Oh, cotton grass done. Huh. Dug bog. Huh. Just got blasted. Massive damage. This is Merlin trial I've already done. What do you have in store for me this time? Uh, let's just do it. Why not? Oh. I guess you gotta make that jump. 
Oh, missed it again. Oopsie. Be proud. <laughs> At least it's giving me a good amount of XP and stuff. All right, Queenstone, where are you? Maybe I need to go. Oh, here's some. I gotta see another one. Yeah. Good. Well, surely that put me up to 50. Yeah. All right, let's go over there. We'll collect our stuff and see what we can do. Should be ready by now. Wigan Weld, Endurus, and Endurus. Guess it won't generate anything that I don't already have. Um, unlocked, that is. Okay. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. Conjure wall decorations and floor decorations. Let's see. So I just need five and five, so maybe like maybe twenty and twenty if all these are four. Might go for the cheaper stuff. Um three. Meteor mug. Let's go with the scientific one, why not? Can you put it underneath things? Oh you can. That's cool. Okay, so we gotta do five of them. And we do this underneath these guys. Oh, can it? Oh, let's see. I guess we didn't have it quite squared up. Oh, okay. I guess it's getting stopped by that other rug. Um, could fill up floors here. I wonder what else I can get besides rugs. I wonder if furniture will count or not. Um, maybe I should do wall decorations first. Niffler and Witch, Gazing Wizard, Dapper Wizard, Bickering Couple, Stone Monument, Gazing Witch, House Elves and Mistress, Nurse and Baby, Magical Monuments, Cottage, and Gnome. So let's just start at the top. This will start low. I guess this one might be a little bit bigger. And then this isn't super imaginative, but definitely just trying to meet our minimum here. Okay. Now we gotta get one more floor decoration. Um, 
assume that a lamp works. I wonder if this will go in between all. Nope, not quite. There we go. Good work. Shall we move on? Uh, yeah. Rebellion. There's one more thing I wanted to conjure too, but I'm afraid she's gonna want me to do it, and I want to. Stuff. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay. Here we go. Altering. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to cut them. All right. So I think we need to reassign some of these. Um, let's look at this one. I think that we're going to put our spells in here. And for down, or over here, I think it'd be better to put Disillusionment. Oh, you can actually have it in multiple slots, that's funny. Um, but can you unassign it? No, you can't. Interesting. Okay. Um, that'll work out. So, let's do our altering. Scientific walls change color. Okay, I can't do that yet. Uh, alter the style of an item, change color of an item, adjust the size of it. Okay, I'm trying not to get the wall, I'm trying to get this um, other thing. Let's try this. None of that. Um, maybe the rugs? Oh, change color, I see. There we go. Change the style. Cast it on the rug again. Um, just the size. There we go. How big can we go? Oh, wow, you can go huge. Okay, change the style. Okay, I don't want to do the floor. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. Maybe you just have to do that. Nicely done. Okay. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Alter floor or balcony in the room, okay. Oh, cool. Let's do gothic. Actually, let's do this eclectic. That looks kind of cool. might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Right, let's Professor it. Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Cool moonlit ambience sounds perfect. I like something natural and earthy. Focus best room is dark and mysterious. Yeah, let's go with that. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, hmm, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite. 
quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Oh, is there a whole second room for me to put stuff in? I feel like Animal Crossing with magic. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. All right then. So I do have something that I bought earlier. Oh, what was it? Was it utility? Desk description. Material refiner. That's what I need. Drusa's moonstone. Yep. So let's go over here since it's something that produces something. Let's plop it here. There we go. And I guess these are all just themes of the same thing. Yeah. So those are just themes, I think. It's not like a unique item, like these hopping pots are just themed differently. The best I can tell. Okay, so in 10 minutes that'll produce Moonstone. I wonder how much it'll make. Um, having those generators may be the best thing I could do. I assume I could put more down in here as well. Yeah, cool. Wow, there is a lot of possibility for stuff in here. I bet people have done some crazy good stuff already. I had to do a lot of aiming and stuff. I assume that I can also have a Nesco these things, so let me just try it on maybe one silly thing about this. Oops. Don't need to roll towards it. Okay. Yeah. So I could get a lot of this stuff out. I wonder if it's a full refund. Um let's turn this place into a big mine. I think I'll go ahead and Take out a good amount of the things and we'll work on decorations and stuff after we get enough moonstone to feed an army. I think that they could have taken a few pages from Nintendo's book though and made altering the walls and the floor separate from everything else because targeting the walls for alterations. Um, looks like it's going to get in the way a bit. Okay, what else can we get? This is a fair amount of moonstone. Wow. Yeah, we'll just kind of keep things a bit spartan and maybe while I'm still working in that other room, I'll, uh, well, here's a bunch just hanging up on the wall. It's only one or two, but still. 
get it. We need if I can put some sconces on here to light up the room. Okay. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff to collect in here too. So let's build another moonstone generator and um, I'll collect everything I can and then I'll save and quit. I swear I want to do it eventually. Oh. Yes, we need to go over this way. this room is going to open up to you at some point. It's nice that even the Vesco description can be taken up to you. And let's see. Is that everything? Yep. Um... Let's put our desk of description back somewhere. I think it was under utility. Let's put it kind of back where it was, I think. Here we go. What else we have? Potion stuff. Okay, seasonal stuff, a jack-o'-lanterns and a Christmas tree, Let's see, found a chest scattered throughout the world, okay, statues, got a unicorn that we can do, tables, okay, a few of those, seating, a fair amount of them, and decorations, furnitures, Storing all your seeds and specimen. I wonder, an academic cabinet for storing all your inventions and discoveries. I wonder if those work or if they're just purely cosmetic. I can already tell I'm going to have to do some reading about some strategy um, on how to get these things. Wall hangings. Looks like we don't have a um, light yet. Looks like there's one I haven't scrolled over yet. Oh, there's whole other sets of things. Okay. Here's our medium, or our large things that we unlocked earlier. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and get a scientific one of these. Kind of feel like I could do plants and stuff down in here. And we'll put um, Moonstone and other things in the other area. Hmm. This feels pretty good. All right here. Let's go ahead and plant something. Dittany. Yeah, we're gonna have to get these other seeds. I'll sort of be wasting space. Okay. Um, let's look at our gear. See if there's anything we need to swap out. How many slots we have? Oh, we got tons of slots. So we've already processed, I think, all that. Um, there may be something here in our challenge that we haven't claimed, so we'll do that. And here we go. A legendary armor of the tire. It's an appearance. Okay. And then another appearance. Okay. Oh, looks like there's one more. We haven't moused over yet. 
Hey, Zonka's chief prankster coat. Alright. Uh, let's see. Well, I think that may be all I really want to do for now. Um, this is a good start for the room of requirement. I've taken almost everything off of the walls, I think. It's available in here. I'm just double checking to see if there's anything else to pull. But it doesn't look like it. Um, I know that that room's going to be very useful soon. I'm curious what this is. Like, this looks like... Maybe it's just a place I could put something. I don't know. Um, I guess we could wait two more minutes. Oh, these are ready to go. Okay. Yeah, we'll wait two more minutes and harvest that. Um, let's see about doing like a light or something. I would very much so like to have us a good light. Um, maybe it's in decorations. Let's actually start here. There's the hopping pots and the stations. Herbology has a bunch of stuff. Utility. Um, no need to mess with that. Wall hangings. Not right now. Rugs. No. Furniture. We'll mess with it maybe later. Alright. Eclectic. Botanical. Scientific. I'm going to stick with the scientific theme for now. I kind of like it. Oops. Kind of like to have the stations illuminated a little bit. I don't think that's going to go in between. Um, I'll put one to either side of this, maybe. Oh, I guess that's eating up just enough space. Can't do it. Um, let's put one over here. Okay, and why not one over here too? Okay, nice. And we can go ahead and reclaim these two. Oops. I need to keep these rugs. Kind of like just having the floor with nothing on it. The best. Okay. And let's get this moonstone. Uh, it looks like it produces one per minute. Uh, I mean, that's okay. That's enough to get something going, you know? Um, so maybe we'll start with just those two and go ahead and save. And I'll be thinking about strategies for making this room all the better. So let's go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. This has been STR Make. You can follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube. And I will have a upload on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.